and this chapter we are going to representing to you first we are using the DVD player with the content of HDR shooting in the content of HDR and DVD player output as HDR 10 now we can check the information here here is HDR 10 DD 2020 color spacing and 2, 4K, 2K, 60Hz with HDR 10 so now we are presenting to you the HDR content pixel to pixel we make the HDR content very smooth now turn off the light Due to the countries and the tick is too much, so we just uh, some overshoot. Please stand for it. So now, uh, this chapter we will move forward to to one special uh, uh, chapter. Uh, in this chapter, we can show you. Here. Here, all our area one square by one square, not leaking out to another area. One square by one square in each area, but no leaking to another. Even here, two pick brightness, but still we block the brightness in this square area. This is our spatial pattern to limit it. No blooming light leaking, leakage to close to other areas. So now, we want to present it to you to change to notebook. Notebook also now, current days, notebook with uh, window system with HDR content detection, uh, you will detect to your monitor whether can do the HDR protocol or not. If you are doing the HDR protocol, then you can turn on the uh, win, uh, Microsoft Windows system. Uh, graphic card output as HDR to match to your monitor. So now we plug HDMI connector to the notebook. And we turn it off again to see we can capture uh, the Microsoft system with YouTube. Currently, YouTube has HDR selection if the content provider supply the HDR content. Through the window system, we can get the content protocol and demonstrate as uh, HDR video co content. Now, I turn it on. So, I just now in chapter one, we measurement uh, by this uh, software. Now we turn it off and we're going to setting of the display. Now it's two, so the color setting will be WCG, color gamut, white color gamut. Then we have to uh, use HDR to turn it on HDR. So the system itself will turn into HDR. So we can Go to HD color setting to get HDR support. Now uh, our HDR video stream, yes, is open. And we are using HDR content protocol, yes. We are using WCG color spacing, yes. So now all turn on, turn on. So now we can adjust whether you want to have a peak brightness in HDR conversion or just make it soft. So we're making in uh, 41 I prevents. So this quality of picture will be compensated by this video. So I enlarge it and the Microsoft system will auto-tune the HDR by its own content. So here shows the HDR content stream is open. 
So once we finish this content, we can turn it off. Then we will go back to check whether through the system go to YouTube we can get HDR now. Now we are going to uh, National Palace Museums uh, a YouTube website and check whether we can have a uh, content or not. So it shows we can choose here 8K but due to notebook capability we choose a 4K 2K HDR. Now we show this HDR content through the YouTube stream server. And these days, a lot of different content providers also provide the HDR. So you can see a lot of content providers providing even 8K HDR. We converge in it. Due to very big brightness, so it's very difficult to show. But in this video stream, you can see the local dimming is up. So you can see area to area has a very contrast ratio in between. So we will turn back to National Museum. So now we move the notebook later on uh, to close the video stream. So to, to do the countries compare to each other. So you can see here, the area is on and the other area is in black. Of course, due to video stream shooting, we cannot do very, very perfect uh, video camera shooting. But still, you can see the, the gap in between. So now we present all the 4K, 2K HDR. And now we can go to Chinese painting, brush painting content. 